been a hangover on a train. Shite. So yeah, this is the last song of today. This is a true story about a chip pan fire that I had that nearly killed everybody in my flats. So it's a Christmassy one. <laughs> safety is important, safety is important, safety is important, safety is important. 99% of accidents in the home happen in the kitchen, which is why you'll always find me in the front room being very careful, wearing a helmet, being really careful. 99% of road accidents in the road are caused by vehicles like cars or motorbikes or buses. Which is why you'll always find me on the pavement Being very careful, wearing a helmet Being very careful, very safety conscious I wasn't always so safety conscious I wasn't always so scared like this But I'll tell you what happened And then you might understand why I'm so fucking careful now I came home once, I was way too pissed I decided I was going to cook some chips I put the chip pan straight onto the cooker I turned it off full blast like a motherfucker I didn't even know if I had any potatoes I hadn't even checked if I had any potatoes Looked in the cupboards, like Mother Hubbards They were bare, there was fuck all in there Except for pieces of tin foil, digital scales Broken bits of stuff that you weren't sure what it was But then I found some potatoes But they were growing dreadlocks, they were fucking old Dreadlock potatoes and dreadlock potatoes Can't live in a tenement yard Too much watchy 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 Too much sus 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 So I cut off the dreadlocks I turned them into skinhead potatoes but I didn't just chop them into chips, that would have been too easy for me I intricately carved them, intricately carved them Into the shape of the heads on Easter Island Guess I've seen about it on telly I thought it met really interesting chips with a kind of historical background story it been quite a while it took me to make them potatoes look like that though. I mean, I've been at that a while. And when I went back to the chip pan, the lid was red, the middle of the lid was yellow. And I grabbed the middle of the lid to put the potatoes in. And the next thing I knew, he stomped on my fingers, he stomped on my fingers. My fingers were melting, my fingers were melting. The oxygen got under the lid And the fucking second it did The flames went to the ceiling The flames went to the ceiling The flames went to the ceiling Which was revealing my inadequacy As a fucking cook of late night potato bear snacks My flat was on fire My curtains were on fire The covers were on fire The fucking air was on fire I thought I'm gonna die Fucking dying No chips are frying it's all right, I know what to do It's all right, I know what to do Cos I've seen the advert The one in the 70s The one that told you what to do If you had a chip on fire I thought all I need is a tea towel A soggy tea towel And in the advert all you have to do Is get a tea towel wet You throw it at the chip pan And it, le it neatly lands on top of the burning fat And puts the fire out Like it flies through the air but a wet bit of cloth and does that. So I got a tea towel, soaked it up with water. I was determined to prevent the slaughter. I didn't want everyone in the flats to die. I fucking tried, I fucking tried. I got the soggy tea towel, I threw it at the chip pan. I threw it at the chip pan, I threw it at the chip pan. And it made the fire bigger, it made the fire bigger. I 
wall, song to the real water, ran back to the kitchen, I threw it over the chip pan, and I threw myself on the fire, I thought it's so wrong to kill my friends, while I'm asleep, it's all my fucking fault, and the next thing I knew I woke up and I was being given oxygen by a fireman, and the oxygen was well nice, when you're out of oxygen for a while it's like better than cheese on toast man, it's like, when you've been without that shit you really miss it. And then the fireman said, how did the fire start son? And he looked round the flat and he could see the stuff, you know, like the guitar. He could see like, you know, lots of general mess and that. And, but then he noticed a plate full of potatoes, which was carved into the shape of the heads of Easter Island. And that's when he said to me, Safety is important! 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 Thank you.